I had a Canadian couple that stopped me on the road on the New Year's Day and they asked me if I drank. And I said, hell no. That's the liquid of the devil. But I was in curious what I was curious what they had to, uh, to say, so I, I asked them what they wanted, and they said, well, we're looking to get rid of this three liter bottle of, of wine, because we don't want to pay the, the duty fee. So now, I have this three liter bottle of wine somewhere in this trash. I don't know exactly, oh man. Right here. I've been driving around with this for the past week. I don't know what to do with it. It's weighing me down. But I was curious, you know, what what are the rules with the Canadian import tax? Well, what's, what's the big deal with three liters going across the border? And I got this, this duty-free allowances piece of paper. Yeah, that, uh was a nice couple who would stop me and gave me that, that alcohol. That's probably a rare occurrence because it, it was uh, for the New Year's. But if, if they were, uh, if they, they would have been limited, I think, that to a 1.5 liters, which is right somewhere on the top here, my finger is. They would have been limited to that. And then uh, one carton of cigarettes, 50 cigars, 200 grams of tobacco, perfume, and gifts. They're limited to coming over 48 hours, um, if they, uh, and they can't have more than $800. So if, if they tried to cross the border in 24 hours, they're probably only allowed $400. Um, that's for Canadians. With American residents and uh, ent that are entering into Canada, uh, to be duty free, to not have to pay the duties, the duty stuff, they have uh, the same the same standards, um, but they <clears throat> they don't have to. Uh, wait 48 hours. Americans only have to wait 24 hours. And apparently people have tried that they put the 24 hour uh, deal in place because people have cr tried to bring over $800 worth of <clears throat> stuff in less than 24 hours. They said each crossing it's $800. Well some people might take advantage of that. Imagine buying a computer. So Canadians they, they couldn't spend more than eight hundred dollars on a computer um, and they have to be in America for 48 hours before they can bring that computer back because they'll time it when you get across the border so this, but this is uh, this is what I got from the duty free store they're talking about uh, they, they pretty much they call it a duty free store but it's really an alcohol store I don't really sell much else. They do have the perfumes, maybe some cigars, but it's mostly alcohol. That's what people are mostly interested in. Um, yeah, so that's that's the rule. So yeah, I got this this uh, this wine here. If anybody wants to drink it, I'm not really much of a drinker myself. Um, I uh, oh, that makes me wonder. I saw a lot of parcel. Uh, services both in Blaine and Sumas a lot of different parcel services uh, were are being offered like there's like four or five of them in uh, Sumas and then I saw one that's at some guy's home in Blaine it's it's interesting I I think maybe Canadians are trying to get around their eight hundred dollar uh, limit with uh, using the parcel post I uh, don't know the details of that yet but uh, they they are definitely using that parcel post quite a bit um, I, I didn't even notice the parcel post when I was walking by it until some Canadians pulled up to it it's at somebody's house